once again the, the game didn't lose any points for not not letting you do that but yeah it's just a thought just a thought that kind of came to me while playing through this area how it would have been kind of nice to see it before everything went to shit so you could have a comparison right No matter though. So we're going through this way to the Silken. What's that? The, the Silken Strand. See another town. Bath says so the enemies do scale. I, I don't know. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. That's I'm not too sure if they scale. Better. They might. They might at least a little bit. No, I don't have. I don't have it yet. I was trying to use my Phoenix Fire, but nope. Or Phoenix Flame, or whatever it's called. Flames of Rebirth. There you go. I mean, basically Phoenix Flame. Oh, you meant like the same enemy scale and level? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I get what you mean now. Bring death blossoms they were lower level yeah okay i see what you mean yeah they, I, it does seem like they do scale by area at the very least dead pick up the goodies Come on out. No, they're coming out. Come on out. We can say you guys aren't coming out. I mean, I'll force you out if I need to. So let's see then. Oh. That's the main so if I then put some on here. So it's not gonna let you through to a small town then. And see like even little comments like that, right? Of like, um We should start with the main gaze and see what that gets us. Like even the comment that Jill made where it's like, oh you know what happened to like this town? It's like, I kind of wish I could have gone there to see it, like, as it used to be before this happened. But, like I said, it doesn't matter. Just, just, just lots of thinking. Lots of thinking about it. Bass Ackward says, I prefer scaling enemies. I think it's good to a degree. I think scaling enemies can be good to a degree. I don't really like how Oblivion does it. Uh, from what I remember, now, I could be wrong. It's been ages since I played Oblivion. But I didn't really like how Oblivion did it because it felt like no matter how strong you got, the enemies always just like stayed the same amount of strength compared to you. And that it didn't really matter. Right? So I feel like there's a degree where it where scaling enemies are good. Um But if you put the effort to level and actually get good equipment, you should be able to take down like some lower level dudes. Uh, relatively easily or what should be relatively easily even if they do scale but some games don't do it like that and they're like oh well no matter how it's, i i want to say it's oblivion or no matter how high you get it uh, it it can always be a bit of a struggle which is fine but i mean you know it could i don't know i, I like being able to slaughter if i if i if i put the effort into leveling but i don't want it to be like super easy all the time either so yeah a range of scaling is good, I feel. Uh, Bass Ackward says maybe we'd get to know later. I forgot where the Cliff Racers in Oblivion or Morrowind. They were in Morrowind. Hey, Eshu. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? Eshu says, hi, Frag. How's life treating you? So far, so good. Had a busy day yesterday, which is why the stream didn't happen. 
Uh, but so far, so good. Now, even yesterday, it was good. It was still a good kind of busy. It's just, you know. It was kind of busy where streaming wasn't exactly uh, on the cards. Yeah, just don't make them too spongy. I think that's the problem that some games do. Have mercy. Rosalith is starting to get a bit of a uh, Rosaria is starting to get a bit of a rebellion going. We'll need to find another way in. Hmm. I thought we might be able to reason with the gods. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone you have a lot of gil. thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. In through there, huh? We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. It probably is. Do you think it's safe? No, probably not, but we're gotta go in anyway. As long as it is abandoned. I mean, does it really matter? We're like dominance and we can summon like the powers of gods. Like I think I think we'll be fine. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. I mean, given the fracks at the gates, it couldn't be a better time to go on since they're occupied with that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I think they just more mean, like, slip in, like, secretly, you know, sneakily. Which, um, I think is fair. You don't want to cause, like, more of a ruckus. But. I do agree. It, it is a good time since they're occupied, right? Nope, nope. Don't jump for joy. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. Dude, too true, too true. Oh, we found a chest, nice. We barely even had to explore. We do get to check it out. Now, uh, what I... What I meant earlier mostly was I meant check it out as like a younger Clive, right? Um, like see it as a bustling non-abandoned town and then come in here later. Um, uh, just so you can see this, the difference. Now, granted, maybe they had that as an idea, but they had to cut it down. I did hear that the game disc was actually pretty pressed for space from what I understand. So they maybe they did have that as an idea, actually. Maybe that was in it. But then they cut it out. I, I could actually see that. Not abandoned then. No. Oh, who are you? Oi! Visitors! Oh, you're a bandit. Gotcha. You guys really want to try. Oh, we'll show ourselves out. Oh, come on. Don't make me don't make me kill you all. I'll I'll do it. If I gotta, I gotta. I think he might have just tried to spit fire at me. There you go. Oh no, that was um that was Jill. Okay, never mind. Enemies bested.
Dude, easy. Got me a go bug. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. Oh. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. Wait a moment. The blessing of the Phoenix. You're that dude from earlier that they said died. I was when you died. Huh? That's that. What's his name? I thought we didn't see him again. They said he he was dead in the index. Holy shit. Forgive me, my lord. Wade, that's I it. Not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Holy crap. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. But how? I'm pretty sure it said he perished. We can speak inside. Well, holy crap. No, oh, this is a shocker. I'll say that. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. Yeah, I can see that. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas. That's a clever name. There is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Yeah, guerrilla warfare. Let's go. Of late, though. We've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Why? The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Hmm. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. Hmm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. It's true. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. A new heir, huh? As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. Now go show them what true shields do. It cannot be allowed to continue. Protect, not kill. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. Hell yeah. Let's get the crew back together. My lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. 
Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Let's see, Bass Ackward says, now first I will do the posture and also my sippy. Oh, and you never know how much, you never know how much you need to actually check your posture until someone tells you to. Then you do it and then it's like, oh boy. Oh boy, I felt oddly good, but also oddly unpleasant. All right. Um, let's see, he says, you know, it's interesting how most of the treasures crafting items and the equipment is dedicated to merchants. I think the most fans would be okay, or that most fans would be okay with a Final Fantasy game having multiple discs. For some reason, I heard some people complain about FF7 RP2. There's multiple discs, but most of them, most of those weren't fans. Yeah, I think multiple discs is 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 good. I mean, hey, that used to be such a standard back then. Yeah. Like to be honest, it might just be um, new versus old, right? Maybe I could be wrong. What I mean by that is, like, you have someone like me who grew up with video games that had multiple discs, right? Um, uh, Legend of Dragoon, Metal Gear Solid, um, Final Fantasy VII. Hell, I had three discs. Parasite Eve 2. Um, which other ones had multiple discs? Which other games had multiple discs that I played? Um, there, there were a good few. Like there were quite a few. I'm sure there are a lot that I didn't even play that had mul that had multiple discs. Um, I picked up one recently. I'm pretty sure, or Megan did. I don't recall. Um. Um, I I think Resident Evil Zero had multiple discs on the GameCube, not on PC, of course, because that's digital game. But I'm pretty sure Zero had multiple discs. I think Remake had multiple discs too, like the original Remake. Um, I think. I might, have, I might have to check my, my games, actually, because I'm kind of curious. I'm pretty sure they did, because I think when you go to the lab, I think you had to switch discs. Um, but I, I, so I feel like it's, and but then you have, like, younger people. I'm, I'm sounding so old. But then you have younger people, right, that didn't grow up with that. Like, maybe they started on, like, the PS3 or something, right? Maybe that was their first game console. Or even PS2, if you want to wanna go for that, right? Like late PS2. And it's like, oh, they're not used to multiple game discs. Why, oh, why would I have to switch? It's like, well, you know, you have a big epic story with a lot to it. And then, you know, you just need more discs, right? Like, I think it's actually good that some games have multiple discs. I don't think that's bad. And I don't know why people would complain. Because what does it do, right? Eventually, there's going to be a time in the game where it's like, oh, you switch discs. It's like, well, yeah, but, you know, so you take the disc out and you put a new one in. What's what's the problem, you know? I didn't get people complaining about that either. I didn't understand it. Um, but I also don't have a problem with this. Was it one of the Tales games? No. One of the Tales games? I don't think so. I... See, I keep thinking Jade Cocoon, but J Jade Cocoon didn't have multiple discs. I think... I don't remember what it was. I know we picked... I I'm pretty sure we picked up one recently, or maybe we looked at one. I don't recall. Um, But that's that's what's... Um, I I'm getting, like, that memory somewhere. Uh, it's gonna take me an Advil, because... Yeah, my back's been getting stiffer, so I've just been taking a bit of an bit of an Advil. Don't worry, I'll be getting a new chair soon. Cause I it's all the chair. The chair has gotten too old. So I need to I need to swap it out. And I'll get a new one soon. I'm just gonna wait for a sale and then, then I'm gonna pick a pick up a new chair. But for the moment, a little bit of Advil helps.
It makes things feel like more of a thing since you have to change the disc. It feels grander. I kind of agree, right? Because I remember, like, I'm going to tell you this right now. I remember when I played Final Fantasy VII for the first time. Uh, and I think I think the same applied for um, uh, when I played Legend of Dragoon originally. Uh, especially on, a, on like, an epic moment too, right? But, okay, anyway, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, like, you, you, oh, because I remember opening up the thing, going, like, there's two discs. Wow. Oh, there's three discs. That's basically three games in one for the price of one. It, it, yeah, it, it isn't really like that necessarily, but it made the game feel longer uh, and more epic, right? It seemed like this bigger deal to me. It, if a game had multiple discs, I knew I was in for some sort of grand adventure, right? And I think it actually made certain scenes a lot, kind of feel a bit cooler in a way. I, I know this is probably just like a weird form of nostalgia talking, but I remember like a specific scene, I want to say in Legend of Dragoon. Hell, I think even in Final Fantasy VII had a very similar thing where like something big happens and then it's like switch to disc two and you're like oh my god and it gives you a moment to kind of process what you saw right and what happened and it's like oh my god and then like you have what like final fantasy 7 if you really think about it like the remake of final fantasy 7 is basically just the game with multiple discs it just being released over pieces right if you really think about it that that's kind of what it is Can you believe there's people that consider the Wii Retro? Issue, let me tell you. I have... A, a, I, I've talked about it numerous times in recordings and on streams at this point, but I have a, a, a local video game store that I go to regularly. Uh, that Megan and I go to regularly. And they have, like, a whole section of Wii games. Like, they have Switch games and stuff as well. But just the fact they have so many Wii games really kind of opens up... The thought that, man, the Wii is actually kind of retro now, or at least it's considered retro. You know? It's like, geez. Good for Score Enix letting gamers take a short physical break after 50 plus hours of gameplay. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. I like multiple discs in games. I... Like, obviously, it doesn't make a game better, but I don't see a complaint. I don't see an issue. I suppose we owe you our thanks. Oh, you spared us when you could have just as easily sent us to the mud. But yeah, then, you know, like I said, you, you just take the game. Like, when, just ask, when it asks you to switch, you, you just take the game out, right? It asks, it asks, man, I, I can't speak. Holy shit. It asks you to switch, and it's like, I don't know, it just, I don't know, I... I, like, that's all it does. Why Why would people complain about it? That's literally all it does. I don't understand. I don't understand certain people nowadays. It's not like it's a big like thing. It's like you pop the disc out, you put new disc in, game continues. You yeah. are welcome to what little we have managed to salvage. I don't know. People are weird. Some people can be weird. A desert rose. Despite its rose-like appearance, this delicate sandstone formation found in the deserts of Delmechia has no rose, but instead an inexplicably particular pecu peculiarity yeah, of nature. A reminder that humankind will never fully comprehend the world in which we live. It is also said to bring good luck. I mean, I'll buy a few of these. I'll buy like, I'll buy like 10. I haven't found any of these yet, so I kind of want some. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Um, yeah, we'll walk out this way. We'll, we'll finish the sequence, then we'll go and we'll do lore in the hideaway. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Okay, Sensing should be easy. An opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. That's clever. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. Okay, How okay. small exactly? Small enough 
now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. That's true. So wait. The bearers from Old Dead have been laid to rest. Good. Very good. <clears throat> now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Black or white? Hmm. I hear that's a decent Pokemon game, so it's just... Party members. Throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Hmm. Okay, so Wade is just a part of the thing now, I guess. That's pretty cool. Now, we've already been up there. We'll keep them from the bridge. Don't you worry. Thank you, Guardian of the Flame. Brother Wade's life depends upon it. Now you're talking to him. Can never mind. Phoenix go with you. Uh, yeah. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Understandable. Okay, so we have yeah, we so we, we can't we can't travel out of here quite yet. We do need to go through this bit. That's fine. More of the merchants coming through, I see. Come along now. We'll find another bridge. Guy and his wife? Girlfriend? Little sister, probably. The bastards are lucky I didn't have my hands. There they are. On your command, my lord. All right, let's kick some ass. Time to ask some questions, because he has an axe, you see. I do like the mage armor. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us... Nah. Uh -huh. ...that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! Die along with your flame! Forest area! Forest area! Yeah, forest area. Yeah, I'll even do this. We'll even try him up. Your petty revolution ends here. On these are swords, we swear. Bloody hell. Reinforcements from the far bank. If it's anything like Dark Souls, it should be weak to lightning. Oh, damn it. Come on, I want to get a precision dodge in. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah. I got almost missed an opportunity. Damn it. More dragons. Even more dragons. The Imperials aren't taking any chances. I can't say I'm flat. Oh yeah. 
You're going down, big boy. Oh, come on. I'm not going down. Now, do I high potion? I probably should. Nah, I don't need to. Oh, is it dead? Oh, well, look at that. Oh, it's a dragoon. Hey, it's a noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point. All right. That this land is in dire need of cleansing. Night of the Lasting Dark, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're nothing. You're nothing. This is actually going really well. So far, so good. I'll save my tornado for soon. Actually, hold on. Probably do this. No one left to keep them occupied. We need to finish this. You mean finish him? Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I like the berserker ring. It's really nice. Oh, he's double jumping. Higher, oh, your stagger meter is going down, dude. the judgment fold wow wow all right that's a lot of damage man we're doing a lot of damage uh a bunch of crafting stuff which we can probably just start selling to be honest i don't see any more <sighs> nor do i it did the plan worked it did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord, perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Ideally. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. Well and said, her Wade. Loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once more. So Wade, I think we should fall back to Port Azolder before the garrison sends reinforcements. A sound strategy, my lord. Quest complete. See, Vass Eckford says, you probably could have had a better chance with some canine and female troops. Probably. They, they need more diversity in the Imperial Army.
And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. That makes a lot of sense. Lord Byron was the first person. I told you he'd to be a part, he'd be an ally. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows. Yeah, where he wouldn't would be too good for no him. To anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Bit of beard hair in my mouth. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience. Especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have some the phoenix. To help with the latter. Just show him that you have the power of the phoenix, dude. It's the mark of the guardians. Display it and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. Sealed Tain. The burnt blade from Wade. Nice. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. <laughs> if only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Yeah, I guess those two are still dead. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. All right, time to sneak on in. Ooh, port is sold. It looks so nice. It looks so pretty. Ooh, is that like behemoth horns? How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we There's are? There's a curl. We are? Not a chance. Right, I guess my uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. He means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. I don't blame him for finding this kind of sussy. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. I'd rather not. You would mm. mock me as well. You shan't have proved something here, I see. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Is that something that they saw when they were when he was younger, maybe? Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. <laughs> That's a good line. Head. Yeah, there you go. Curse the infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell. No, nah, you can even see he's crying. See Man, look at that. Charge once more. That's some good detail. That's really good detail. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest Maddo in the twins. <laughs> oh, 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 Clive, my dear boy. It's really you. <laughs> You always 
were fond of that scene from The Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Just have a dinner, Clive. Oh, sit. I see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. Yes. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you weeks, believe huh? us then? About everything. Of course he does. Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe <laughs> even half of the things you claim. I can never mind. Maybe I'm wrong. Until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? <laughs> it's not untrue. Let's say no more about it. Yeah, that's it good. To linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Yeah, times change, Uncle. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, <laughs> fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. It is a great line, yeah. No, he, they they did that line really good. See, even though it has like its dark moments, it's still well, it's mostly dark moments. It still has a good funny line here and there. I really like it. Uh, over there. Go on. She's a fine ship, isn't she? He seemed really sad by that too. He's like, is it true? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. The boiling sea. Something on your mind. Got to go back to face her own demons. Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I 
became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. Hmm. Jill. Not your fault, Lou Jill. It's not your fault. I don't want to be a monster, Clyde. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just... Promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Bendemir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Now we're going back? Okay, well, that's good. That means I can do some lore reading. Well, index reading. I call it lore reading. It's basically reading lore, to be honest. Good scene. Oh no, it's just taking us to the map. All right. yeah, see, I want to go back here anyway. Oh. Alright, back to the hideaway. Maybe there'll be another mark for me to slay. Hmm. Here be monsters. I like that. The good the title. Is in the Iron Kingdom. Vivian could probably make an educated guess. A new missive. Nice. I, I like missives. I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea. A culinary pilgrimage. Ooh. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. Sounds pretty accurate for real life, too. I'll stick to the unfoul ones, Mostly. Thanks. Mostly. Where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book mm. has them all. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. What do we need? Oh, I'm no hunter, Sid. You, can, I, you need something. I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sterner stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Ah, hell yeah, let's do it. How could I refuse? Exactly. Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine, I'll help. Fantastic! Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Mm. Uh, Chancer's stew. Chancer's it was stew, once a huh? favorite among the gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, mm -hmm, it's infuriatingly mm -hmm. cryptic as to the main ingredient. Okay, what's it a say? Beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Hmm. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses. Rosaria, perhaps? That's what I was thinking. One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. 
Yeah, I mean, I may as well, right? I may as well. Uh, this seems like it'll be a fun quest. Oh, we got a thing over there, too. Okay, go over here first to read the new missive. Deadlands wouldn't be half as bad as the hole that bloody dust. Oh, a couple. A flame none brighter. My lord Marquis, I ask once again for you to forgive my men for your welcome back at the Lazarus. But certainly you can understand that they that you were the last person any of us were expecting to see at our gates. In the short time since our reunion, you have shown yourself to be the self-same man I followed into Stillwind those many years ago. A true bearer of your father's legacy. If only Sir Tyler and Lord Commander, and the Lord Commander, and all the others who were lost that night were still with us to see how bright your flame now burns. To you and your cause, I hereby pledge the swords of the Guardians, and I am proud to stand alongside you once again. Wade. Thanks, Wade. The Dalmex and the Imperials are at a standoff. They snarl at each other, fangs bared like slum curs. But neither wants to make the first move. It's almost as if they both realize what the stinking pile of chocobo shit they've stepped in. If I were a to lay wager, I'd put my copper on this conflict not playing out anytime soon. I shall keep you appraised, Gav. Thanks, Gav. Let's pick up this quest and then we'll go do tomes. We'll go um, do the tome stuff after we pick up this new quest. Because I'm curious about it. It has the the plus sign symbol, which so far means something really good, right? I mean, I got my chocobo when I did the last one. How did we never Yo, yeah, August. Well, good month or And they're now, actually. Is something wrong? He's Blackthorn. He ain't himself. No. Nah. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. But normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but not this time. Something's getting him down. And whatever it is, he ain't telling. Mm. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what'd you say? I feel like I can do that. Fine. If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. He'll open up when he's ready. That's true. All right. Now, that's a good enough request, yeah. Once. So, I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. Okay, can do. The blacksmith's blues. Anything new here? No. I guess we don't have any new hunts on the hunt board, do we? Nope, nada. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, Blackthorn. What's up? What's got you down, my dude? First August, and now you. What are you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? Innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Phil, shut you up. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> it's nothing really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you'd bother people about. I want to know. Tell us all the same. Karen and He's I. He's thinking. There you go. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the other day she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. 
light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. Ah. Uh. I should have brought the barter thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. And now every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. That you you made me many a good sword and belt. You happy? You got what you came for. Now piss off. All right, we're going. And whatever other thing he makes for me, I think like it's not. I don't remember what it is. I don't remember what else he makes. I know it's sword and belt. I don't remember what the third thing is though. I Glove? No. Blackthorn is a bit of a force of nature, like a storm cloud full I don't remember. of hail. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. True. Something tells me he doesn't look that kind of worse. character. If he has doubts, it will affect his work. Which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. That monster's taken. Okay, what else is it that he makes? I'm just kind of curious. I can just ask him about that again. What do you want? Bracers, that's it. Like the little wrist things. Yeah. Okay, cool. Van braces, that's it. That it. I knew it was something small. I knew it wasn't like armor itself. Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. Mm -hmm. He ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. It's all right, sold it already. Yeah, of course. Didn't think it's never that easy. For it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened across him on my travels. Whomst. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of some it. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. Hmm. Don't trust hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working their hides. I see. He did tell me something, though. Oh, yeah, what? Apparently. His next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Griffin hide? Yeah. There's a griffin on the hump. Oh, really? The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. I've just been there, though. Where the bleeding hell was excited. Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe. Care Northern. That was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you admit it. <laughs> so. It sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. Seems I'll so. I'll hunt into you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. All right, let's go. Use the hunt board to locate the griffin. Okay, I'll do that. Do 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 do. Well, before I do that, though, let's actually do some reading at Tomes' place. Let's do a little bit of the old reedy-do. Did you come to borrow a book seat? No, I kind of, I guess. My knowledge is yours. I have a few level up? new notes that might interest you. Oh, I should. Ah, oh, oh, it's so what close. What subject shall we consider today?